difficult level. Because, my god, that second wonder token alone makes it very hard. I don't, I don't understand how you can just, like, figure that out. I guess if you just really observe it and just push everything, then I, I suppose. But, I, I don't know. It, it, it's so weird. Alright, anyway. Time to be on the first real level, which is Out My Way Valley. Alright, so Out My Way Valley is our first ice level. Now, ice levels, as you know, in traditional, typical Mario games, uh, you slip around a lot. Uh, there's ice physics. Ooh, there's a there's a coin for me, or a block for me, because uh, I'm playing as Daisy. Oh, what? Come on, bro. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, I can hit it. Ah, oh, I'm determined. I'm determined. Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, I had no reason. It was just gonna be giving me a flower plant, but but who cares? Who gives a crap? All right. Oh, oh. All right. I'm a. Uh, gimme! Okay, thank you very much. Alright. Uh, Alright, but yeah, you're, you, but yeah, these, uh, these types of levels, you're slip and sliding a lot. Um, and, uh, and so, like, you know, it's sometimes, it's hard, it's supposed to be hard, because, like, you slip, you slip around, it's hard to control your physics. Um, hard to control your movement. Uh, but, um, it's fine. We are- Oh my gosh, that was a little close. Oh, you crushed it! That's okay. Whoa! Okay, you know what? Alright. Uh-oh. Ah! Gimme! Okay, good. Alright, let's head on down, down here. Alright, let's see where, where this takes me. Oh, shoot! Okay. Alright, let's uh, head, up, head up here. Let's grab these coins. Okay, good. Oh god, it's breaking. Oh! Okay. Grab uh, these coins too while we're at it. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep one. All right, okay, so it looks like there is a flower coin on the other side that we have to somehow get. Okay, how in the world do we do that? All right, you know what, it's easy. Ah! Oh, I'm not dead. Because instead, this takes me over here. Awesome. And then you can break this from the top and then uh, go into this pipe. All right, now we just gotta go and continue. And uh, you can also, with the fire flower, you can melt these ice as well. Um, that way you don't have to wait for these, uh, guys to kick these blocks about. I mean, it's kind of what you do. You use, uh, you use these, uh, oh god, ah! Oh my gosh, that was close, I almost died. You use, uh, these guys, you, get, you can ride on the, the blocks that these guys kick at you. Pretty much the, the concept here. Alright, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and head up here. Uh-oh, okay, alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is, uh, okay, I'll take. I'll, I'll gladly take that. All right, and what's this? There's a block here. What's that about? No one, no one able to kick it. Oh, what's this? Ah! Huh? Oh God, it's an avalanche! Wow. Okay. Well, let's go on. Uh, where is this taking me? Okay. Oh, grab these uh, purple coins while we're at it. All right. Here we go. Can I grab on that one? No, I can't. Oh no! The flagpole got destroyed! Now I can't beat the level, it's impossible! Oh, what do I do in, in a level where I can't even beat it because I made a mistake? Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Wait a minute. Oh! Uh, 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 no! Oh god, what? I did not know you can get hit by, by, by that. that. That was insane, absolutely insane. That was weird, though. That was, such, that was so weird. And look, this is the flagpole. The heck? Oh! Okay. I'll gladly take that. Alright. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I, I got an idea. Alright, so head up here, and then... <gasps> Boom! There we go! Alright, so... And, and as you can see right there, that was the secret exit of this level. So, with that being said, uh, that was an extra wonder save for us. So now we just gotta go ahead and do well, do this level again, but getting the normal exit. And I'm sure after seeing that avalanche, you know where the normal exit is. Okay, so that appeared. Okay, everybody, we are back. So this is where we got the Wonder Flower. So now we're just gonna continue without it and see what's going on. No avalanche. So we just continue. And uh, oh, this turn, this thing turned into a giant block. Okay. 
Okay, let's just ride it for a bit. See what happens. Oh! Okay, there we go. Alright, well that was really easy. And so with that, grab the uh, normal exit there, the normal exit wonder seed. And that is out my way valley. Now fortunately, uh, if you're following along, this is actually the only level that contains a secret exit. Uh, at least in World 2. So, alright, here we go. Uh, another, uh, we got a break time level. So after all that craziness from uh, the first level, now we're going to go ahead and see what we got going on here. Alright, let's see. What's this? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Ha! Okay, there we go. Kill him. Okay, so I guess you can die in this one. I mean, why, 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 why would they program a uh, break time level like it's supposed to be easy and you can die like that makes that shouldn't really make much sense right all right anyway uh pokey Pee pass all right let's go ahead and do this see what we got so uh pokey Pee pass is going to introduce uh, another new enemy so let's see, let's see what we got okay so actually uh what i was meant to, to say to talk about a while ago uh before uh some crazy stuff happened is uh, i actually want to talk about online mode so, this game has co-op, uh, it's co-op supported, uh, so you can play with friends, if you'd like. And they actually changed the co-op mode of this game, and, uh, and that is that when you're playing with friends, you cannot, you don't, like, impact, directly impact each other. And what that means is, in the new Super Mario Bros. games, you used to be able to, like, jump on each other, carry, pick each other up, bump into each other. Uh, you don't bump into each other in any way whatsoever in co-op mode. Which means you cannot pick each other up, you can't jump on each other uh, to, in order to cheese some uh, strategies. So, as a result, um, it's really hard to, to uh, cheese some of the strategies in this game. Now, in online mode, uh, online mode is back from 3D World, and unlike in 3D World, it does not play like local co-op. Instead, everybody is playing their own game while you're doing a level together. So, whether you think that's interesting, Wait, also, I just realized I missed a purple coin? What? Where am I missing one? Damn, dang, that was even the first one, too, that I missed. That means I gotta go all the way back in the beginning somewhere to see where I missed it. Oh, crap. Okay, I found it. It's towards the beginning of the level. As soon as you head up here, you gotta go to the left. There you go. Something that you don't really think about when you're playing any level. Okay, I'm back. This is where we got the wonder scene. So now let's continue. Alright, so... Now since we got all the ten purple coins, we just gotta go ahead and finish the rest of the level. And then, once you get to this part, here's some stairs. Oh gosh, it's gonna break the blocks! Oh, and there we go! Okay, very awesome. Alright, so so far we're doing pretty good. As, um... We haven't had to redo a level just to find a missing purple coin. Or a wonder scene. Uh, which is actually pretty good. So, hopefully we can keep it up that way. Um, because, uh, I want to be real. I'm playing off of memory, as I've only finished this game once as of recording this video. Which, you know, one you might think one playthrough means, like, you know the game. Like, yeah, you'll... You have the... All one playthrough does is give you experience. Oh god, excuse me. Uh, all one playthrough does is you'll is you'll gain the experience um, of the game. Like you know how the game works, but um, I mean, depending on how well you can study uh, levels themselves, it doesn't really like give you like extra. Um, experience in, um... Okay, I have a feeling I messed up. I have a feeling I messed up. Um, hold on. I have an idea. Maybe this will work? Oh, 
Oh! Oh my god. Oh, wait. Okay. I did that for no reason. Because all, all that contained was a 1-up. Okay. Alright, let's see what, what all right, let's see what this is. Okay, that's my first one. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, got a little paranoid there. Alright, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, one playthrough only gives you the experience. You know how the game works. But it doesn't particularly help you memorize the levels uh, that well. Um, so... That's why... Uh, we're trying our best here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, awesome. Alright, head over here. Grab it! Yes! There we go. That was so cool. Alright. Okay, so uh, back on topic. Uh, earlier I was talking about uh, co-op mode. Um, so yeah, co-op mode. Um, yeah, so in co-op mode, uh, especially in online, uh, you can't really like directly impact each other. Um, but it's still an interesting experience in its own way um, if you uh, you know still want that co-op experience um, but uh for this playthrough we're going solo and uh, it's primarily because you know the people that I used to do co-ops with uh, they have moved on it's just uh, how, how life goes okay so I'm uh, I'm gonna backtrack because um, I think, actually, let me just keep going. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, so nothing up there. So let's see. Uh... Oh! Okay, close. Close one. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, wait. I need, I'm gonna keep going a little bit, actually, because I have a feeling. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I, I'm, I'm, oh, God. Like, like I said, one playthrough is not enough because I, I have a feeling that I'm I'm for, I'm missing a uh, a ten purple coin somewhere, and I know for sure it's in like some high up area that I need to uh, be on the lookout for. Okay, but anyway, here's another um, new uh, mechanic of uh, the um, wonder flower. So as you can see now, we are walking on the walls, and oh god. Okay, okay, I'm gonna need you to break this uh, other other part. Okay, good, thank you very much. So yeah, you're now walking on the walls, and you don't want to walk off the walls. It's actually possible for you to walk off the walls, um, and that's bad. All right, so then that means we gotta... Okay, thank you for defeating those snails for me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, unfair. Okay, wait. Okay, break this, and then there we go. Grab the uh, Wonder Seed. Okay, nice. All right. So now I'm a backtrack because, okay, no, never mind. This actually took me over here, anyway. Okay, so then, wait a minute. Okay, something's not right. What, what happens if we go in here? Okay, wait, what's this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, you can do it. Boom. Oh, okay, okay, that's where it is. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I was thinking wrong. Yeah, like, like I said, one playthrough is not enough. Because, uh, I still haven't fully memorized this game yet. While, uh, uh, I, I have got- I am going off- off of one playthrough. Alright, anyway. Uh, so we make it- we made it to the end. And if you go up there, you can get yourself one flower coin. But, ultimately, we beat the level. And there we go. Alright, so, made myself kinda... Made some pretty foolish mistakes there. Um, but... That's okay, as long as we didn't have to redo any levels. That's kind of my goal here. Is my goal is to try not to redo any levels, uh, based on uh, how much I can remember off of these off of these levels. All right, and so with that, now we can move on to the next part of World Two. And uh, ooh, we got a shop halfway there. Welcome to the Poplin Shop, where we sell everything, snow or shine. And let's see. Okay, so the most important one is to get the Wonder Seed. There we go. Increase our Wonder Seed. You can also buy badges and a standee. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna press my luck at this. I'm gonna press my luck one time every single time. And uh, there we go. Alright, so we got ourselves a new standee. There we, and that's good. Basically, the more standees you get, then uh, the, the less luck you'll get at getting a new one. So you want to be careful with that. Okay, so then... Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so if you have nine Wonder Seeds, then you can uh, do this level. But then we also have... A badge challenge and a KO arena. I think I'm gonna do the KO arena first, uh, since I believe the KO arena is harder. 
So let's see what we can do about this. Also, the KR Arena is good because you can refill on your power-ups. Because uh, you get pretty much every selection of power-up. So, uh, well, I guess with the exception of the the one right here. But we get new power-ups. Uh, that's, the, that's the point. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess I'll get the... Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, what comes first? Uh, let's see if I remember this one. I think I need the bubble flower first. Alright, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in once I'm ready. Alright, alright, what do we got here? Uh okay. Alright, so let's see. So the bubble flower is good on, on these guys, because you can actually um uh you know put these guys in a bubble. Alright. Oh, but you can't put the big guys in the wall in, in the bubble. Crap. Okay. Alright, so then that means okay, good. Alright. Oh gosh! All right, all right. That was a bad first room. So I believe I believe I need I need my my target seventy seconds or below. So I need to uh, let's see. All right. Uh, okay, one, two. Oh gosh, this is this ain't gonna go well. All right, come on. Oh, this is so slow. Very inefficient. All right, all right. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Alright, that was kind of fast for no power-ups, but, um, oh man, it's the third room that I'm worried about, I think. Is the third room hard? I, I need to figure that out. Alright, what's this? What's the third room? Um, okay, maybe I can do this? Oh! Oh! Okay, that was, that was, that was a little bit close. Okay, boom. Oh, you jumped over me? Bruh. Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, alright, this is definitely it. I know for sure this is definitely it. Wow, okay. So I got, got a little... Okay, so the first term is actually the hardest one. Oh, and we did it. Look at that. Wow. Man, I not even did the second room with no power-ups. Uh, or at least no special power-ups. So, like, that was that's pretty impressive. At least to me. Because uh, you you do want to do those, do, do, do those really fast. Okay, so there we go. And now we're going to do another badge challenge. And this is Floating Jump. So this is another ability badge, and uh, basically floating high means you just jump really high. So let's see. So, like, look how high we jump. In addition, your jumps are really floaty. So that means that the gimmick here is some objects are really high up, and you have to use your ability, you have to trust your ability, your high jump ability, to um, get across, so. and to also collect all the collectibles that you need to collect. Oh, what? Unfair. All right, take your way up here. All right, good, and then jump up. Nice, okay. Do we have everything? Okay, okay, I need one more um, 10 purple coin. All right, okay, so there's one, there's, there's the last one, so, okay, all right. And then we just gotta go ahead and do this. Yes, there we go. So with the combination of, of being able to jump high, float in midair, and midair spins, you can uh, descend very slowly, so that way you can get the top of the flagpole and the wonder seed. Okay, so, so far so good.